Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a official anniversary update review. So this is what you'll get on August 2nd. I'm using the latest build. So if you're in the fast ring, we got a build yesterday, which was 14393. And this is agreed upon a lot of people that it's pretty much what we're having on August 2nd, the official uh, RTM, release to manufacturing or a release candidate for Windows 10 anniversary update. So what is the anniversary update? It's the second big update since we had Windows 10. We had the release of Windows 10 on July 29th last year was followed by the, the um, November update 1511. And this is the second major update, which is called anniversary update for those that had it in the other um, name, which is Redstone One. So what's new? What's changed? What's all the hype about the anniversary update? We're going to go quickly through the features and remember each feature that I show you really fast here are going to be uh, talked about in details in future videos that I'm posting in the next few weeks. So I uh, hope you enjoy. So uh, first of all, improved way of um, installing in um, the way that it actually is showing us how it's installing. Of course, it's a big download. It's still like a huge Windows install that's happening, but it's showing up like this. Instead of having that big circle with the percentage, screen will look like that when it's going to install. It's a new way of updating the system. Now, this is what we're having here, and uh, we're going to, of course, check out in this new install of Windows 10, um, what new features we have. The install of Windows 10, of course, is something that um, is going to take a certain time. So you might take an hour, two hours before it's done. Um, you know, we're waiting for an improved way. Apparently in the future, there's gonna be an improved way of installing these updates. But for now, it's still the big, you know, let's reinstall Windows pretty much. Now, you, don't worry, you have pretty much nothing to do. Just say, yeah, okay, install the update and let it do its job. The new login screen, log screen that's seamlessly coming together in this version of Windows 10, that's pretty cool because uh, it really, you know, you had the impression until now that you had a log screen, you clicked, it went away, you had the login screen, kind of too much, I believe. Now it's seamless, same picture, uh, when you click, it just moves and shows you that login uh, box where you enter your password. That's really, really nice. S new start experience, of course, with a redone start menu. Now the programs are always visible here on the left side. That was one of the big problems. Uh, of course, dark theme, as you see here across the uh, device. Uh, of course, easy access to all the buttons like power settings um, and file explorer. And of course, your account that you can log out or um, log in into, you know, log out of or change user and so on. Tiles, of course, redesigned a little bit in the area here where the tiles are so that you can actually put more tiles uh, together. You can also have uh, better visibility of these tiles. So it's this is changed and once again, we'll take a look at more details of these in specific videos. So sorry if I'm going fast on these. Cortana improvements. Cortana is improved. It now can help you do much more. So Cortana now is integrated everywhere. So if, if for example, you take an appointment and you take a second one and it's just um, you know, together in the same date or time, it's going to tell you, Hey, um, I think there's a conflict. Um, oh, Hey, you got tickets for that show on that night. You remember it knows everything. Uh, it can tell you, um, depending on what you receive in your mails and what you have on your calendars and so on. So it's really nice to have this, uh, Cortana improved in interaction, uh, also available in the log screen. So you don't even have to log into your computer for, knowing if you have an appointment, for example, or uh, having, you know, what's the weather, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Settings panel is improved. It has now um, better kind of redesigned um, 
areas so everything looks a little easier to understand and to find the different options there was a lot of problem with that people had difficulty and uh, each item has an icon now as you see here once again as you see here this is dark team and each of the items add an icon uh, so everything now will have a visual so if you remember the icon you'll know what it's about of course everything in the different options have been revamped so it's easier to find the different options you want it's easier to find um, or understand also what the options mean they've really tweaked that to make it better because some of the options weren't really totally clear here so now it's getting a little better with a little more explanations of uh, the settings panel of course if you're wondering is it still there yes it is the control panel is still there it still exists so don't worry about it they've redesigned the icons but it's still in here uh, so it's interesting to uh, see that and the settings really are improved um, over here uh, apart from the redesign of the icons and stuff like that they haven't changed much of the control panel because that will eventually eventually disappear as I've said dark team as you've seen I'm using the dark team on many of my uh, interface here is uh, available they've tweaked file explorer also so the file explorer icons have been changed and uh, a little bit there's been um, kind of a redesign slightly redesigned um, file explorer so that it has a little touch of maybe a little more interesting viewing possibilities um, OneDrive integration is a little better still no placeholders from uh, what I've seen in placeholders for those that wonder what it was is that when you were not connected to the internet placeholders on OneDrive would let you have miniature icons that could of course uh, tell you which files were on OneDrive even when not connected and when that was removed on 1511 a lot of people said yeah that's not a good idea so uh, no they are available uh, they will be available in the next few months apparently it's coming back but uh, it's not totally there yet in the uh, anniversary update from what I see quick actions more visual effects uh, first of all so you have not only you know doesn't only come white like it does right now in your regular Windows 10 this also shows you a little number how many notifications you've got there's visual effects on the notifications when they appear when you erase them there's a better action center so the they've tweaked the action center to better suit what type of notifications you would like to see because it was a little annoying sometimes in Windows 10 where it showed you things you didn't want now that's improved they've kind of made it a little less annoying if you want so uh, pretty cool an icon for Windows Defender it might seem like a very very small thing but it's something I wanted because it's fun to have a visual of your antivirus Microsoft Edge browser is improved um, you know latest technology and everything it's improved and um, the menus are a little easier to understand they uh, are of course have been tweaking that so it's easier to you know find different settings and stuff or add your start page uh, when you know where to go it wasn't that clear before so they've redesigned this a little bit uh, one of the interesting things about uh, is um, edges the extensions that was something a lot of people were winning so you see here the ones that I've got installed you see here if I click get extensions brings me to the store for the extensions really nice not a lot of extensions right now but there will be tons of extensions coming soon to Microsoft Edge apart from that for streaming apparently it's a better browser that's what Microsoft says one that's been tested for edge that everybody agrees on is battery life if you're using a mobile device laptop or tablet you know what this is great because it actually is uh, saving battery so you can use your device longer so Microsoft Edge been a lot really tweaked for that if you have a touch device a tablet touch tablet or uh, if you have a pad where you can actually write on um, well Microsoft Inc is something that's major to Windows 10 anniversary update where you can write on pretty much anything everywhere use a ruler design sketch things you can even write 
and Cortana can actually translate that writing into actual words. Pretty interesting. I'll try to demo this uh, specifically when I get a device to, to uh, test it. Better sync between Windows 10 devices. Uh, syncing of your favorites in Edge. Syncing of all of your settings if you want to. Better tweaking of that. So if you have multiple Windows 10 devices, they're all be the same. And that's pretty nice also. Live tiles more interactive. In the live tiles here, when you see live tiles and it shows you something specific, you'll be able to actually click a live tile and it's going to bring you directly to uh, what you were seeing. Now, this doesn't, didn't work with the store, but on specific items like uh, maybe mail or calendar, when you see something pop up that's kind of interesting or a news item in the news tile, well, it's going to bring you to that news item instead of just opening the app. That's good. Bash command which is the Linux command uh, the command line on uh, Windows 10. Now, this is not an emulation of Linux. It's a real Linux subsystem inside Windows for developers and programmers. For those that wonder what's it what's all about, it's simply a place where uh, if you're a developer or programmer, you'll be able to use your code. If you're using um, you know, Linux to code, you'll be able to code even in Windows and have the same environment and possibilities. Updates to all the core apps. So basically Xbox app has been updated and it now actually has streaming, better streaming capabilities with your Xbox One. Don't think of the Xbox app as something only for Xbox users. Any games that you'll play that you'll download through the store is going to be linked to next, the Xbox app. It's the general gaming place. It's not just for those that have Xbox. That's what a lot of people think. So improved here, all the games that you'll have are going to be here and you'll have all sorts of uh, things happening. I'll be, of course, checking this out in detail. Uh, that's for sure. Brand new Skype experience with uh, Skype Universal Windows platform. So the brand new Skype will be, of course, uh, interesting for those that use this. Uh, news app, mail app, calendar app, everything's tweaked, everything's better. Uh, they've really played, um, you know, kind of redesigned these. All universal windows, once again, new camera app, photo app, improved calendar. And I will be making specific videos for each, so don't worry about that. Of course, an improved Windows store. It wasn't that great at the start. It's getting a little better. So uh, Windows Store is um, going to have a better uh, kind of, you know, they're trying to make it better. But you know what? No App Store that I find is good. I don't like the iOS uh, App Store. I don't like the um, Android or Go the, the Play Store, Google Play Store. I think they're horrible. Uh, so you know, they're making an effort to make things better. That's for sure. Uh, and these are always going to be tweaked. That's for sure. Overall performance, great. Really working well, uh, easy, kind of easier to use on some points for some people, they'll find. Uh, performance is great, no blue screens, no problems. Um, I think this is a nice Windows 10 upgrade. It will, of course, bring you to the latest in what they have to offer. And, uh, of course, Windows 10, you know, for some of you that are asking me, oh, well, this is the late, last Windows 10 now. No. That's not the case. Windows 10 is Windows as a service. It's something that's kind of being upgraded all the time. So don't think this is the last. It's not. It's always going to be tweaked, always going to be upgraded. Your apps are always going to be updated from time to time with new features. Very important to understand. What's to come after this? After Redstone, what we have or after anniversary update, because this is Redstone 1, yes, there'll be another update, and that's coming in the spring of 2017. So it's a little far away after that. It will add new features. It will add features that weren't making it here. So some of the things didn't make it here. And um, basically, that's coming. You see here, interesting, on the bottom left, our Cortana is actually saying, hey, Olympic fever is upon us. Ask me about that. So, you know, all sorts of little things like that are interesting with Cortana integration. So the future is Redstone 2. 
the next major update that will be in the spring of 2017 hopefully will come in in a different fashion so it's going to be different in the way that it actually is shown so here you see there's even separation between each of the different um, things that um, the action center will give you as notifications um, and that's going to be adding new features once again and uh, adding some of the stuff that didn't make it to this build so this is the anniversary update it was i'm sorry if it's a little quick video but thing is i'll be posting videos of specific um anniversary update features so check it out there's going to be tons of videos coming in the next few weeks with everything detailed so you'll learn how to use that brand new shiny windows 10 upgrade and if you're wondering when is it coming well if you're not an insider of course this is coming on august 2nd in waves so it might not be august 2nd for you but it will be in the next few days or weeks after august 2nd if you don't have it on august 2nd and it's going to upgrade your system if you enjoy my videos please subscribe to my my uh, channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up and hopefully you enjoyed this review of the Windows 10 anniversary update.